Good morning. Welcome to another vlog. Let me first start by telling you about this mug. So my very good friend, Grace, she's over here on YouTube as Everyday Edit. I'm sure you guys know her. She's so lovely. She and her husband are so lovely. They were in town and they actually dropped this off at my doorstep. Palm Springs 2023 67th Porsche Parade. Now they're big fans of Porsche. They were so excited when I got my car. And so we chit chat about it every once in a while. Anyway, they dropped this off. They dropped off a hat and a t-shirt as well, uh, which I'm sure you'll see in future vlogs, but they dropped off this mug. And as you guys know, I love mugs. I really do. It took all of my effort not to buy any mugs while I was over in Europe because I promised myself I would not be purchasing any more mugs in 2024. Gifts, I think I even said, as a gift, I welcome it because I won't be buying any for myself. And they brought this over. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to have a new mug. <laughs> and such a cool one on top of it. It's like a matte gray with this yellow lining. It's so cool. Anyway, enough about mugs. How is everyone? Uh, it is rainy here in Vegas. So I'm filming this when those big rains are hitting California. And whenever big rains hit California, we always get a little bit of it. So. It has been going between a drizzle and a heavy drizzle all day, even last night, actually, because I woke up to some on the ground. And it's, you know, it's nice. It's nice. It's cloudy. It's overcast. It's a, a real, real difference to what we're used to here in Vegas. So I welcome it. I like change. So what I wanted to show you guys right now, actually, before we get on with the rest of the vlog is I put out a Q&A uh, out on my Instagram I think just on my Instagram, maybe I did it on my YouTube community tab too. Anyway, um, either case, I put out uh, a call for questions for Luna. Uh, she's the uh, designer behind uh, Lucifer Vera Nestis. I don't have any of it on today, strangely enough, because I just got back from the gym. But I figured, I talk about Luna all the time. You see her on Instagram, but she's really, you know, she's like behind her work. You know, she's not like out there and like all over the place or whatever. Like she really lets her work speak for her, speak for her brand. Uh, speak for her talent and everything. So I thought a Q&A would be a good way to, you know, get to know her a little bit, get to know her work. And so we got a lot of questions. A lot of them were very, very similar though, which um, I was not surprised about. So we did like a Zoom. This was maybe a couple days ago. We did a Zoom. So I'm going to insert the chat that we had over Zoom of Luna answering your questions. And we're here with Luna Scamuzzi again, the designer behind Lucifer Vironestis Jewelry. You guys have seen me <laughs> wear her pieces very often. Often you guys have seen Luna on my channel many times now. We're going to start, and a lot of these uh, questions, I feel like we maybe have touched on some previous conversations that Luna and I have had, and also on my blog post where I actually posted an interview with Luna, but we thought it would be worth kind of reinforcing <laughs> some of some of these uh, answers. But the first one, and a question I think that I get about your brand and I'm sure you get about your brand often, is what's the motivation behind the brand name? Yes, yes, this is a very popular question. The name is the name of the first jewelry uh, maker recorded in the medieval book in Milan. And I found this when I was making the, my research in my, I am an architect. So when I was um, working for the, uh, my degree thesis. Uh, I was working in, archi in a, an archive in Milan about the, um, uh, on the corporation uh, work. I found his name. I found uh, Lucifer Vironesto's name. That was a sort, I think, a sort of nickname uh, of uh, this man that used to um, uh, be called Lucifer Vironestus and was the first goldsmith recorded in the medieval book in Milan. So then when I started to make this work, yes, was, uh, was this name because for me it was a sort of a sign, uh, a sort of, of a way to make this name, um, to give to this name another life. So it was very mm -hmm. intriguing and um, yes, I accept this, this sign. So yes. And the translation into English is um, yes, on um, Honest Man? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, Lucifer Vir Honestus is a Latin name, 
So means uh, Lucifer, honest man. Lucifer, we can uh, we can think not to the devil, but uh, to the angel of uh, of light. Yes. <laughs> so yes, yes. yes. The the original meaning of uh, of Lucifer. Yes. Yeah, so, I think people forget that Lucifer was originally an angel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is very important. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> so nothing, uh, nothing strange, and nothing. It's a, it's a beautiful story for me because uh, it was so natural to choose uh, this name. Uh, it was so fun, natural, and uh, very intriguing. I believe that uh, this is a, a very beautiful story to tell. Yeah, no, it's yeah. great. It's great, and it's definitely a conversation starter. People are always asking. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Speaking of your architectural design, I don't know if that contributes to your, you know, designs and your aesthetic, but another question that we got a lot was your designs are so unique. Where do you get your inspiration from? At the beginning, when the, when people asked me about the inspiration, it was a very, I don't know, a sort of embarrassed me this question because uh, I really didn't know how well was my inspiration because uh, uh, I have not in mind in something or I don't know is the way in which I express myself so I follow the flow of what I have inside so now I think that the answer is uh, to let people understand is uh, that the inspiration is uh, is in my soul is inside me because uh, our soul contain us contain mm -hmm. the emotions, what we are, the experience, uh, the feeling, uh, pain, the joy, the love that we have uh, uh, felt in our life. And so when you express yourself and I express myself with jewelry, I, I follow this, I follow the flow. Uh, I use also to say that nature is my mentor, but I think that nature is the mentor of everyone, uh, even mm -hmm. if uh, people maybe doesn't focus, uh, focus about this, but uh, we are nature, we are from nature. So if we follow yeah. what we have inside, uh, we follow nature. So I think that uh, my ecstatic uh, follow this flow is very fluid uh, and uh, this organic shape that characterized my, um, my jewelry uh, maybe represent this, represent a flow, a sort of uh, uh, that has no angles <laughs> for obvious mm -hmm. reasons. Sometimes uh, starting from uh, a thought, a feeling, sometimes starting from a stone and from what the stone means for you in that uh, or uh, communicate uh, to you in that moment. So color, shape, something, energy. And uh, mm -hmm. I try to catch this and transform this in a in a form, in a jewel. Yeah, it's very complicated, but <laughs> I try to, yeah. to to explain what is the process. It's it's very difficult to put into words, you know, inspiration. Yeah. It's such a, it's just like a mist, yeah. <laughs> right? Yes, yes, because um, yes, it's, no, that's, it's, yeah. yeah, at the end is, is what you are, is uh, what you have inside and how to pick yeah. what you have inside that uh, are able to transform and uh, let people understand because uh, yes, it's a sort of uh, dialogue that you have with people. Another uh, question, this is a little bit more specific uh, to mm -hmm. your process and, and your jewelry. Are any customizations possible? You obviously on your site and on your Instagram shop, you have a lot of beautiful pieces there, but if they wanted to swap out a stone or use a different uh, gold or something, is that possible? Yes, absolutely. Yes. I make uh, the, the pieces are uh, one of a kind, if, even if they are, maybe they are similar because, for example, Millefili, but every time I make uh, a different model that has some different things, a lot of things are possible to change stones uh, or to change, uh, to have a desire, for example, a certain number of stones uh, or uh, change. Uh, someone asked me about uh, to change emerald with uh, with uh, diamonds, for example, in I mean, the field. Yes, absolutely. Just need to contact, to contact me and uh, mm -hmm. we can discuss about this. And I'm very happy to. I would also yeah. imagine that it, uh, maybe it depends on the availability of the stones. Do you ever run into any issues 
uh, like sourcing stones yes. that you want to use? Um, okay. I, mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, I need time because, uh, um, yes, can happen that uh, I need time to pick the, the right stone, to select the right stone. And when it comes to, you know, all of your custom one-of-a-kind jewelry, how long does it take to uh, to make it and have it delivered? I need four or five weeks. So this is the time that uh, usually I need for uh, realize a piece because I need to make the model. Then uh, we need to cast, uh, then we need to work on this and prepare for the setting the stones uh, or prepare for detail if, uh, for example, the chain uh, or uh, earrings. I just wanted to mention because, you know, we talk often about how your pieces are one of a kind, you know, every time you make uh, the, I'm probably using the wrong terms, but every time you make the mold for a piece and then it's cast, the, the wax mold goes away. So it's mm -hmm. an impossibility for, for you to recreate it exactly the way it was. But I also wanted to mention, because I think this is so incredible, that you don't even use pre-made, um, I don't know the term, but like the fixings, like even just mm -hmm. the, hook on your, the hook on your earrings and things like that, those you make by hand as well. I think that's so incredible. And, and that's ob that was obviously a choice that you made to do that. Yes, we make every every piece of the jewel. So because uh, my jewelry is so um, is handmade by me. So if I put something that is a stamp, like uh, uh, the small piece, uh, for example, for the earrings, mm -hmm. I can see the difference between the two pieces, and I think that is more ar harmonious. Is more harmonic. Mm -hmm to see mm -hmm. uh, the same hand and also uh, I love to study the way in which uh, we can hang uh, to our um, uh, the, um, the earrings uh, or study different kind of clasp. Uh, I really love to make this work. The last question I wanted to ask you that we got uh, a couple of times is what is the best way to determine my ring size? I think a lot of hmm. people are very hesitant in ordering, not only ordering things online, but ordering, you know, such a unique, beautiful piece from you. And I think a lot of the anxiety that comes from making sure the ring size is correct is I think people don't think that it can be fixed afterwards, but it can. Um, but if you have any tips on how to determine the correct ring size, um, people want to know. <laughs> yes, I understand because it's difficult to, um uh to to buy something that you can um uh, touch and try on so if uh, people contact me or directly from my shop i can send them the ring sizer that is a, a plastic band that uh, determines the size and then they should send me a video showing me how the band the plastic band go up and down on the finger so that I can see if it is a, a tight size or a loose size because some of the model need to be a little bit loose. For example, the wide band need to have a generally one size up. That sounds easy enough, but let's say you, you go through the whole process, you make the ring, you send it out and it's a little bit too tight or too loose you're able to adjust it afterwards. Sometimes uh, I'm able to handle from US uh, this uh, process, uh, or sometimes I need uh, to have back the ring and then uh, to send back the ring. Right, uh, okay. Can, can happen very, very uh, few times, uh, but can happen, mm -hmm. but uh, I follow all the process, yes. Well, those yeah. were all of the questions, thank you. So, so much. I know my subscribers are really going to appreciate you spending the time and answering all of their burning questions. If you guys like this, or if you have more questions for Luna, put them down below in the comment section. We can always do this again, but I think, uh, I think that's it. Luna, I know it's, uh, it's late over there for you, so I don't want to keep you. Have a lovely, lovely evening, and we will talk thank to you. you soon. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. It's uh, always okay. a pleasure to, to talk with you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Well, I hope you guys enjoy that. I love, love, love talking to artists and Luna especially 
about um, about them, about their work, about their inspiration, all that kind of stuff. I think it's always so fascinating to hear like a creative mind talk about their process and their inspiration. It's just, I find it endlessly inspiring for myself. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy that. I have a ton of PR again. I have about 25 packages and this will probably take up the rest of this vlog, but we'll see, we'll see. Let me go over to this big pile over here and we'll start opening these up. Look at this big impressive pile. So let me set you down. All right, let me move some of this so you can actually see my face and my camera is totally crooked. Let's straighten that out a little, <laughs> little bit. Is that better? Maybe a little, okay. All right, there, okay. Let's start with this. Ooh, Merit Beauty. All right, I wonder if this is one of their new Signature lip colors. I love, as you guys know, raved about this Merit signature lip color. Oh my gosh. When it first came out, was it last year, the year before? Maybe last year. Slip. I, I still remember the name of the color that I love. Yeah, signature lip. Lightweight matte lipstick in the shade Maison. Ooh, look at this. Now, if I remember correctly, the original ones were not matte, right? Am I remembering that correctly? I mean, I think they had, like, I don't think they were especially glossy, but I don't remember them being like this matte appearing. Interesting. God, this color is gorgeous though. Ooh, beautiful. Wow, okay, thank you, Merit, for this. I think these are launching on February 22nd, and I think this video is going up around then. So anyway, I think they're gonna be available on Sephora and all of the regular like Merit uh, retailers. All right, ooh, next we have something from Summer Fridays. Their dream lip oil was literally just such a dream on my trip. It was perfect, perfect lip product to have brought. Summer Fridays, happy birthday. Almost, they must be celebrating an anniversary. An early birthday treat, six years of Summer Fridays. Oh my gosh, has it been that long already? We feel incredibly grateful for your support since we launched in 2018 with our jet lag mask. I do remember that that's their first, um, first product. Blah, blah, blah. We can't thank you enough, blah, blah, blah. Celebrate. We've launched a limited edition lip butter balm birthday cake flavor. Ah, oh, let's see. So inside, ah, oh, this must be it. So this is the lip butter balm. Yep, and birthday cake. And then their jet lag mask. Of course. Oh, thank you so much, Summer Fridays, and happy birthday. Happy sixth birthday. How amazing. And something from Laura Geller, another birthday celebration. Happy 20th birthday. Whoa. You know, I'm realizing my hair looks so weird today. I actually like kind of styled it, but then I went out to the UPS store and got rained on. And now my hair just looks like, like I just got out of the shower. Okay, anyway, this is a brush, I guess, that you use for the foundation. What is this? It's so funny. Look at this box. It's like a like an old school bakery box. Oh my God, I love it. Reminds me of those um, like Italian bakery cookies that you get by the pound. Oh my God, I love those. Oh wow, okay, so unfortunately mine is broken, but I believe, <laughs> this is so funny. This is like a chocolate rendition of the foundation, which I believe is like a baked powder foundation. And you're supposed to take this mallet and break it open. Mine was broken already, unfortunately, probably in shipping. And then there were all of these foil chocolates on the inside. Are these like Rolos with caramel on the inside? Oh my God, this is so, this, yeah, this is chocolate. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, thank you so much. Is there actually, oh, okay, here's the actual <laughs> the foundation. <laughs> I was like, did they actually send the foundation? Okay, here's the color correcting foundation. Ooh. And they sent the shade light over to me. So to date, they've sold more than 7 million of these. I feel like anytime I see a marbleized pan, I think of Laura Geller. Do you remember the, um, their blushes, their baked blushes? There was one that Kathleen Lights loved. I feel like it was called some sort of fruit like a watermelon or a guava. <laughs> I'm just gonna end up naming them all. Anyway, 
Thank you so, so much, Laura Geller, and happy birthday. Happy 20th. Ooh, something from Bare Minerals. They sent a whole bunch of their lasting, sorry, mineralist lasting matte liquid lipstick. Look at that. Wow, oh my goodness. And then they sent, is this a lip liner? Yep, mineralist lasting lip liner in the shade Treasured, Treasured Red. Wow, oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Bare Minerals. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is a lot, a lot of lipstick. Okay, we have, ooh, something from Westman Atelier. Must open immediately. <laughs> Dear Valentine, something new is coming to our Westman Atelier collection, launching February 27th. Look at this beautiful box. Oh my gosh, what are these? Look at this. These are lip suede matte lipstick. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Stop it. Look at this packaging. Oh, she has the hearts all over the bullet. Can you see them engraved? Oh my goodness. Okay. So this is very exciting. This color is Pip. Oh, wow. That was super smooth. That was two swipes of this lipstick. Did I say it's going to come in 10 shades? It's gonna come in 10 shades. This one is Je, Je Rêve. Beautiful, mauve pink. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then this one is L LFG. Ooh, this is like the lipstick version of their Poppet Baby Cheeks blush stick. Oh my God. Wow, thank you so, so much, Westman Atelier. This packaging is mind-blowingly beautiful. I cannot believe it. And this formula seems so, so soft and so nourishing for a matte lipstick. Thank you so much. Okay, ne whoa. Next we have, oh, something from Sisley. I hope this is what I'm thinking it is. Oh, it's their new foundation. Oh my gosh. Okay, there are 29 shades, 11 levels of intensity, and three undertones. High coverage, radiant matte finish. It moisturizes, it smooths, and, and it illuminates. Ideal skin complex, whoa. Oh wow, look at this bag they sent. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's one of those bags that like opens up. Oh, amazing. Wow, what did they send? So they sent over three of the shades of the Fito 10. So I have 00N, 0N, and 1N. Here is 00N, could be too light. 0N, Dawn, this is looking better. Yes, and 1N, Ivory. Ooh. Yeah, that looks a little too deep for me. Yeah, I think I'm a 0N. Oh, that's amazing. And then they sent two of their Lafito Rouge in 201 and 45. I think these are new. So 45 is Rouge Milano. I love this lipstick formula. Oh, look at that burnt red. Oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that's Rouge um, Milano, number 45. And then here is 201, which is Rouge Tokyo. Oh no, Rose Tokyo. Ooh. So Rose Tokyo and Rouge Milano. <gasps> Wow, and then they sent over, what's all this stuff? Oh, they sent hair clips, love that. They sent over, what is this? I think it's like maybe a little gouache stone. Oh, it's a little mirror. Oh, that's so cute. And then, what is this? Brush cleansing pad. Oh wow, here's like a little brush cleansing pad. Oh, that is so awesome. Thank you so, so much, Cicely. And I cannot wait to try out this foundation. Some of my absolute all-time foundations are from Cicely. So I am very excited to try this. Thank you so, so much. Okay, next we have something from Tower 28. Oh, to my favorite softy. Oh. I actually wrote my name in there. That's so nice. Oh, and there's lip soft defects on the back. <gasps> oh, I think I've seen, oh, I have lipstick all over my hands. I've seen a lot of buzz about these lip softies. I love it. This just reminds me of childhood, doesn't it? I had Carmex <laughs> in packaging like this 
And then the uh, Lancome, oh my gosh, what are those lip jellies? Oh my God, I have a bunch of them. Oh my God, what are they called? My brain, so addled. But it looks like they've got, or they sent me five shades. Oh, I cannot wait. Here is Dulce, Dulce de Leche. Let's try this out. I remember I used to sit there and like squeeze out like just enough, or I would sit there and slowly squeeze and see how tall I could get. Like the product up there, I would do that with my Carmex. I had like a, like a cocoa. Actually, it's like more like a caramel. Oh wow, they weren't kidding. These are really soft, really, really soft. Oh, oh, I like that. Almost like, um, you know, like when a lip mask, you like work it in and it starts to just kind of like melt. That's what this feels like. Ooh, ooh, I love it. Oh, thank you so much. This is so cute. Okay, and then, don't know. I think maybe this is from NARS. Oh no, this is from, let's see. Ooh, Renutra of Estee Lauder. Whoa, this is fancy. Uh, I guess they've come out with, oh, this is new. It's the Transformative Brilliance Soft Cream from Renutriv. Oh, wow. Thank you, Estee Lauder. I'm gonna have to try that out soon. I've been trying out a lot of moisturizers and they've all been, I gotta say, they've all been really, really decent. Oh, their card says reveal visible age reversal in just 14 days. Huh, okay. Thank you, Estee Lauder. What have you got here? Oh, something from Ruffer. What's this? Wow, I think they just re-upped me on a bunch of their brushes. Wow, 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 thank you so much. They probably, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. They probably watched one of my videos where I mentioned, you know, I don't have an assistant anymore and uh, I haven't been able to wash my brushes. <laughs> So they probably sent these over. Oh my God. Wow. Look at all these. Jesus. Thank you so much, Refer. God, these guys, Tom and the gang, they're so, they really are so generous. Thank you so much. All right. And this is from, I believe, Hourglass. Yes, from Hourglass. Zero animals harmed, one perfect red. Uh, sent over one of their lipsticks and one of their, I think, volumizing glossy bombs. Yeah, this is in the shade Thrill. So it's this bright red. Pretty sure I have this. So I'll keep that pristine. And then this one is in Red Zero. This is one of their matte lipsticks. I don't think I have this color. Ooh, thank you. Thank you so much, Hourglass. I wish I had opened these up before um, Valentine's Day, but time is just flying by. Thank you. Ooh, this is heavy. Ooh, this is from Sigma. Ooh, I have to say, I was watching someone's video. Whose video? Was it Samantha March's? Probably. And I was like, wow, that's, that Sigma stuff's looking really good. Oh, it's like a, it's like a goodie box. The brush cleaning mat, which you guys know I absolutely love. It sits in my bathroom in the sink, ready for me to clean my brushes. Oh, and they sent a, wow, they sent a whole bunch of their brushes over. The Sigma F80, which is their very famous flat top kabuki. The F25, oh my gosh, just a whole bunch. Ooh, you know how much I love these brushes that are like angled like this. This is their F47, the multitasker. Oh, I like this. Yeah, whole bunch of their brushes. And then they sent over their Hydro Melt Lip Mask. And then, oh, I think this is what I saw. I think on Samantha's channel, I could be wrong. The Sigma Highlighter in Sizzle and Blushes. Oh, bronzer, oh yeah, and a blush. Let's open these up, shall we? So the Sigma Highlighter, beautiful packaging, wow. So that's the Sigma highlighter in Sizzle. Oh, well, they weren't kidding. Did you guys see that? That's gorgeous, okay. And let me open up this blush, I'm so curious. This one is in Tiger Lily. That is beautiful, look at that. Pinky peach, gorgeous. And a couple of bronzers and, oh my gosh, um, their brush poo, brush shampoo, brush poo. <laughs> Brush shampoo, foam, and oh, what's this? Instant shade remover. Oh, it's like one of those switchers. Oh my gosh, there's more down here. Jeez Louise, some eyeshadow, some lipsticks. 
Ooh, a cream blush, some lip creams and a lip oil. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Thank you very much, Sigma. I cannot wait to try out all of these products. All of the brush cleaning stuff and brushes I've used for a while and I know they're excellent. But I cannot wait to try these um, makeup products. Thank you so much, Sigma. This is amazing. And here is a box from a warehouse. Oh, ooh, Kier Weiss. Um, wow, you sent over this big box. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness, they sent over a whole bunch of stuff. The Impossible Mascara, the beautiful facial oil, which is stupendous. Their, oh, their beautiful hydration serum, which I love, 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 as you guys know. Lip gloss. Oh, the beautiful eye balm. This is so good. I love applying this actually before I put on my makeup, almost like a primer. It's so nice. It's lightweight, just like use a thin layer of this. Oh, it's incredible. And then what is this? I think this is just a case. And then they sent me one of their refillable cases. How nice. Oh, <laughs> not just the case, Michelle, duh. Here is one of the refills. Um, this is the cream blush in Sun Touched. Yay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Cure Weiss. This is so amazing. Let's see what this is. Ooh, from Shiseido. Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Advanced Cream. God, yes, please. Ooh, wow. 90% saw firmer, lifted, and more even toned skin in two weeks. Here's, God, that's a beautiful jar. Jeez Louise. And then it also has a spatula. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much, Sesedo. I cannot wait to try. Oh, wow. Something from Cell Cosme. This is a brand I have been eyeing for years. They are sold at the Saks here in Vegas. And I went to the Saks counter for something else. Anyway, this happened like three or four times. I, I walked in, was asking about something, and then organically this brand would just come up. So here's the brand. I believe it's pronounced Cell Cosme. I don't think it's Cell Cosmet. I could be wrong, um, but they're a Swiss skincare brand. And I just heard the most amazing things about their stuff. I'm definitely gonna have to put this stuff to the test. Oh my gosh, they sent me their Cell Lift Cream. Wow, that looks like real fancy. And then their Cell Lift Lotion with Cytopep. So, oh, the Cell Lift Lotion is new. Glowing skin is your best makeup. I would have to agree. Uh, powered by Cytopep Cellular Extracts, clinically proven to firm and deliver your most radiant skin. Essence enriched with peptides, collagen, elastin, amino acids, vitamin B, and aloe ferro. Oh, neat. Wow. Thank you very, very much. Wow, I'm really blown away. Thank you. Okay, I have this very long box because Elemis, I believe, is now being sold at Sephora. I think this is the big announcement for that. Let's open this up. Yes, Elemis now at Sephora. Oh, that's so exciting. So I've got a headband. I've got their Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. I have definitely have gone through quite a few of these. Their Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads and their Pro Collagen Marine Cream SPF 30. Oh, well, congratulations to Elemis and thank you so, so much for all of your hero products. I know this is definitely one. And then something from Polite Society <laughs> cover and animal test-free PETA vegan. Okay. Oh, oh, I think I knew this. So Polite Society, basically the new brand by the two-faced couple, Jared Blandino and his partner. We oh, oh my God. <laughs> I just lifted this up out of the box and this was what was underneath all of these snacks. Oh my God. Flaming hot crunchy Cheetos and Takis. Now don't laugh, but I've never tried either of these. I've tried Cheetos, but not the flaming hot Cheetos and not Takis. Never tried them. Big mouth hurts so good. These are like, I guess, spicy gummies. 
I'm not gonna lie, these scare me a little bit. <laughs> Unlimit plant-based jerky, smoky chili, grass-friendly and beefy. 31 grams of protein. Oh, how interesting. Plant power, blah, blah, blah. Oh, soy protein. Yeah, it seems to be the, uh, the protein in here. And then what's this? Oh my gosh, is this like a chili sauce? This is so funny. Hot and saucy, collards and ghost hot sauce. Oh my God. So it looks like they've come out with a, oh, these are all stuck together. These are a lip plumping oil gloss, instant and long-term, polite society, big mouth. So there is pepper in here, ginger root oil, blueberry oil. Oh my, it's so funny. I am, I am not into these plumpers. I'm just not, I don't care if my th lips look thin. I just don't like that feeling. But a big thank you to Polite Society. This may be my first time trying these out. Next, we've got something from Lawless. Meet your match. Introducing three all new matching sets of FTF lip balm and FTF plumping gloss. Ah, all sold separately, best when paired. Oh, I see. Look at that. Balm stick. So here are the three balm sticks and here are the three glosses. Ah, thank you so much, Lawless. This is like right up my alley. I love like a balm and stick and I love a gloss. Oh, I've got this really random FedEx envelope with a Summer Fridays jet like mask in there. It's a little smushed, but I'll take it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much again, Summer Fridays. Something from Laura Mercier. Are you ready for fashion month? I sure am. Oh, it's like a box of their best sellers, basically. Oh, that's so nice. I've got the translucent loose setting powder. Ooh, I've got the blush color infusion in guava, a little baby translucent loose setting powder, tinted moisturizer blush. Oh, these are their cream blushes, some lip products, the primer some eye pencils. Oh my gosh. Hold on, there's another primer. We've got, oh I see, perfecting and blurring primers. Caviar eye sticks. Ooh, the liquid illuminator from their rose gold collection. Yeah, caviar eye sticks. Wow, this is incredible. Thank you so, so much. Laura Mercier. Ooh, something from Dean Davidson. I know they just came out with their Nomad collection and I have a limited time coupon code for you to use. Um, it's Michelle 20, I believe. I'll flash it up on the screen and I'll of course put it down below in my description box. And when it starts and stops, I know the um, coupon code has already started, but it does stop like sometime towards the end of this month. So if you want some gorgeous jewelry, 20% off, definitely take advantage. Pack your bags, it's safari time. This is actually perfect. I was looking at the Saint Laurent spring collection, a lot of safari. I mean, Saint Laurent usually has some sort of safari uh, feel to their collections, but it's, it's really strong for this spring. What was the other, oh my God, what was the other collection that had a strong safari theme? Can't remember, of course, but safari theme is very, very strong this, this season. So this is perfect, perfect timing. Oh wow, these are beautiful. Look at these studs. Yeah, I think these are tiger's eye and wow. Look at this necklace. God, can you see this worn with like a like a khaki colored kind of like a like a camp shirt or like a safari shirt with like all the patch pockets on the front with flaps and stuff? Oh. That would look super chic. And ooh, look at these. It's like a bigger tiger's eye stud, but then you've got that gold disc hanging down. Beautiful. And then this, ooh. Is this like a choker? Wow. Oh my God, that's so cool. Great pairing with those earrings. Beautiful. Wow, thank you. Thank you so much, Dean Davidson. And don't forget, Michelle 20 for 20% 20 off. I'll leave more details down below in my description box. Ooh, something from Smashbox. Oh my God, I love those Halo face palettes they just came out with. This is, oh, they're sending it to me again. This is, I think, the one that I really like. This is the, yeah, Back to Cali one. That's the one I used in my last trying new makeup video. Love this. And then this one is Pink Saturation. This is the other one I really, really like. Isn't this pretty? 
Oh, these are great. Well, thank you again, Smashbox. I love these. Ooh, something from Pharmacy. Gosh, I don't think, I don't think I've ever gotten anything from Pharmacy. And I do love their stuff, Pharmacy. Honey Vanilla Lip Smoothie. What? Take a sip of our Farm Fresh Peptide Powered Smoothie. Vitamin C Peptide Lip Balm. Oh, Peptides Vitamin C Buckwheat Honey Upcycled Vanilla. They sent over some stickers. How cute. It's like a little glass smoothie cup. And then inside, <laughs> inside is the lip balm. Oh gosh, I can't get it out. Here's the lip balm. I'm just curious as to how gooey it is. Oh no, it's like a typical balm. Okay. The picture made it look like it was going to be like really, really uh, liquidy, but no, it's a regular balm. Regular Regular bomb. Smells like vanilla and honey. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, pharmacy. I love this. Not really a smoothie drinker, but I think I will be now. Ooh, something from Jillian Dempsey. Ah, they sent over their Flick Trick Mascara, their coal eyeliner in rich brown, and then their lid tint in do. I found out about this brand, I believe from Lisa Eldridge. I think she was using one of these lid tints and oh, there's do. Oh, oh, pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. It's the most subtle highlight for your lids. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that. Wow, thank you very much, Jillian Dempsey. Cannot wait to try these. And then, oh, something from Milani. Quiet luxury without the price tag, okay? Whoa, okay. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, look at this, look at this package. I've got eyeliners and mascaras and cream blushes and contours and bronzers, and then these hydrating lip stains. Wow, thank you so, so much, Milani. <laughs> this is incredible. And then something from Grande Cosmetics. Oh my gosh, makeup with muscle. Lash care in every bottle. Ooh. America's number one lash and brow serum brand. So we've got a makeup remover, um, a mascara primer, a conditioning peptide mascara, a waterproof conditioning peptide mascara, an intense thickening mascara, and a fanning and curling mascara. I feel like this one's for me, this last one. Wow, thank you so much. Wow, I'm really set with mascaras. Thank you so much, Grande Cosmetics. All right, my friends, that, that was kind of a long, PR unboxing. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next vlog.